Imagine stepping into a world where dining transcends the ordinary, where every meal is not just a gathering, but an elaborate dance of culture, tradition, and etiquette. In the world of old money, dining is a performance, each meal a meticulously crafted masterpiece, and every gesture a story woven through generations. Picture a table set with dishes and centuries-old silverware, each piece echoing tales of grandeur and time-honored customs. We're not just sharing meals. We're indulging in a legacy where every bite speaks volumes of history, and every sip of wine is a nod to a time-honored lineage, a far cry from a McDonald's happy meal. Prepare to set your table and your expectations high as we embark on a journey of exquisite dining and a timeless way of life. The tradition of old money dining is a rich tapestry woven through the centuries, deeply rooted in the opulent banquets of European aristocracy. These gatherings were beyond mere meals. They were exquisite displays of power, wealth, and a sophisticated understanding of the culinary arts. Picture the grand halls of French Chateau, where every dinner was a lavish affair, echoing with the clinks of fine silver and the soft rustle of silk gowns. Imagine the stately dining rooms of English manors, where nobility and distinguished guests gathered under the soft glow of candlelight, partaking in courses that were as much a feast for the eyes as for the palate. In these settings, dining was an art form, a ritualistic experience that spoke volumes about the host's status and influence. Each dish was meticulously prepared, showcasing not only the culinary skills of the chefs, but also the abundance and variety of the estate's provisions. The layout of the table, the order of the courses, and the etiquette observed by all in attendance were dictated by a set of unwritten rules passed down through generations. These elaborate feasts set the stage for the dining customs we see today in old money circles. They were the precursors to the modern practices of formal dining, where every detail, from the placement of the silverware to the choice of the centerpiece, has its roots in these historical gatherings. As we delve further into the world of old money dining, we find that these traditions are not relics of the past, but living, breathing customs that continue to shape the way the elite dine to this day. Let's dissect the unique elements that make these dinners vividly depict an old money dining experience. Firstly, the setting is paramount, a character in its own right. Imagine dining in a room steeped in history, like the opulent halls of the Rothschild family's estates, where walls are adorned with priceless art and heirlooms. The table setting is a masterpiece, arranged with fine porcelain, crystal and silver, each piece boasting a lineage as illustrious as the guests. The charger plates might be from a limited Limoges series, while the silverware could be from a set that has graced royal banquets. As for the menu, it's a carefully curated symphony of flavors. A real-life example is the Beaulieu Vineyard Georges de la Tour Private Reserve, a wine often served at exclusive gatherings, paired with dishes that highlight its complexity. The dishes are usually classic, with a heritage as rich as the families enjoying them. Ingredients are sourced with a preference for rarity and quality. Think of white truffles from Alba or caviar from the Caspian Sea. The courses are designed to flow seamlessly, from delicate amuse-bouche to decadent sumptuous desserts, each telling its own story. But what truly sets old money dining apart is the etiquette, a ballet of unspoken rules and subtle nuances. Consider the Vanderbilt family dinners, where the art of conversation was as crucial as the food on the plate. It's in the details, how one holds a wine glass, the correct use of each piece of cutlery, and the art of conversation at the table. Each aspect is a testament to a heritage of refinement. For example, how a guest signals the end of their meal by placing their cutlery on the plate is a language in itself, understood and respected in these circles. In these gatherings, the art of hosting is just as important as the art of being a guest. Hosts like the Astors and the Rockefellers were renowned for their meticulous attention to detail, ensuring that every aspect of the dinner contributed to an elegant and easy atmosphere. From the moment a guest receives their embossed, hand-delivered invitation to the final sip of vintage port, every element is orchestrated to create an unforgettable experience. In the bustling rhythm of today's fast-paced world, 
The timeless traditions of old money dining might seem like echoes from a bygone era. Yet in the circles of old money societies, these practices are not just preserved. They are cherished and upheld as vital links to a past replete with elegance and grandeur. While steeped in history, these dining customs have evolved subtly, adapting to the nuances of modern life without losing their intrinsic values of grace, elegance and respect. For instance, the use of technology in these age-old rituals has been gracefully embraced. Where once invitations were hand-delivered, now they might arrive as elegantly crafted emails or digital invitations, merging tradition with modern convenience. Yet the language remains formal and the dress code impeccable, reflecting the enduring essence of these gatherings. Additionally, the menus reflect a blend of time-honored recipes and contemporary culinary trends. Chefs in estates like the Duke of Westminster may incorporate modern gastronomic techniques into classic dishes, offering a nod to the present while honoring the past. Ingredients might be more sustainably sourced, acknowledging environmental concerns, yet they remain of the highest quality. Vegan and vegetarian options are now often included, catering to the diverse dietary preferences of today's aristocracy. Moreover, the etiquette has adapted to today's more egalitarian values while maintaining its refined core. For example, at a dinner hosted by the modern-day members of the Astor family, you notice a relaxed approach to conversation topics. Yet the art of listening and the grace of well-timed interjections remain paramount. These gatherings continue to be about sharing experiences and wisdom, a trait that has stood the test of time. In these modern adaptations, we see a beautiful amalgamation of the old and the new, proving that the art of old money dining is not static, but a living, evolving tradition. It remains a testament to the enduring allure of a world where every detail is savored, every interaction is meaningful, and every meal celebrates history and sophistication. The influence of old money dining reverberates far beyond the gilded walls of ancestral estates and private dining rooms. It acts as a compass, setting the course for culinary trends and inspiring the ethos of fine dining establishments across the globe. The meticulous attention to detail, the unwavering emphasis on quality over quantity and the preservation of culinary heritage have become guiding principles for chefs, restaurateurs, and those who appreciate the finer aspects of the culinary arts. Take, for example, the world-renowned Michelin-starred restaurants. Many of these establishments draw inspiration from the old money dining philosophy, focusing on the provenance of ingredients, the precision of culinary techniques, and the overall dining experience. In their respective culinary realms, chefs like Alain Ducasse and Thomas Keller embody this influence through their commitment to excellence, attention to detail and respect for traditional gastronomic practices. Moreover, the influence of old money dining extends to hospitality education. Prestigious institutions like Le Cordon Bleu and the Culinary Institute of America incorporate elements of this traditional dining etiquette and culinary sophistication into their curricula, shaping the next generation of culinary experts and hospitality leaders. In the broader cultural context, Old money dining has also left its mark on the world of arts and entertainment. Films like Downton Abbey and The Great Gatsby pay homage to these elaborate dining rituals, capturing the era's essence and bringing it to a broader audience. Books and television shows on etiquette and lifestyle often reference these practices, illustrating their continued relevance and appeal. In essence, the principles of old money dining have transcended time and geography, influencing how we eat and how we think about food and dining as a cultural expression. This enduring impact highlights the art of dining as a fundamental aspect of human connection and cultural identity, celebrated and revered across different eras and societies. Yet, as we admire the grandeur and tradition of old money dining, we must also acknowledge the controversies and challenges it faces in the modern world. Critics often view old money dining as an outdated symbol of elitism and exclusion, a relic of a bygone era that contrasts sharply with contemporary values of inclusivity and social equity. The exclusivity that defines these gatherings can be seen as perpetuating social divides accessible only to a privileged few. Take, for instance, the debate around the Feast of the Senses, 
an annual gala held by a prestigious European dynasty. While the event showcases culinary excellence, it often draws criticism for its opulent display of wealth and exclusivity, seen by some as out of touch with the broader societal issues of income inequality and access to resources. Additionally, there are significant ethical considerations regarding sourcing exotic and rare ingredients that feature prominently in old money menus. Pursuing such ingredients can sometimes lead to unsustainable practices, raising concerns about environmental conservation and animal welfare. A notable example is the use of foie gras, which, while considered a delicacy, has been the subject of intense ethical debate due to the methods involved in its production. Furthermore, the environmental impact of these lavish affairs must be addressed. The carbon footprint of transporting luxury ingredients from far-flung corners of the world, the use of extensive resources for a single event, and the waste generated pose significant ecological concerns. These issues challenge the custodians of old money dining to find a balance between upholding tradition and being responsive to modern environmental and ethical standards. In this light, some families and institutions have begun to adapt, incorporating sustainable practices into their events, such as sourcing locally and seasonally, reducing waste, and considering ethical implications in their menu choices. This shift demonstrates an evolving consciousness within these circles, acknowledging the need to harmonize age-old traditions with the responsibilities and values of the 21st century. As we venture through the 21st century, the art of old money dining remains a captivating intersection of past and present. This enduring tradition is upheld and evolved by titled aristocrats of old lineage and modern moguls and cultural custodians who embrace and revere these customs. These influential figures are pivotal in preserving the legacy and guiding its evolution in a world that balances tradition and modernity. Consider the Rothschild family, whose gatherings continue to exemplify the pinnacle of old money dining with meticulously planned menus and settings that reflect their heritage and contemporary tastes. Often shrouded in exclusivity, their events continue to set high society dining standards. On the other hand, modern business magnates like Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, though not from traditional old money backgrounds, have been known to partake in and host events that emulate old money dining customs, indicating these traditions' widespread appeal and influence beyond their original social circles. Their participation and adaptation of these customs to their events reflect a blend of respect for historical dining practices and contemporary sensibility. In cultural influence, figures like Martha Stewart and Charles Spencer, the ninth Earl Spencer, contributed to the perpetuation and evolution of these dining customs. They bring old money dining to the public eye, demystifying and maintaining its allure through books, television shows and social media. Their work often showcases how elements of old money dining can be incorporated into modern day entertaining, making it more accessible while retaining its elegance and sophistication. The current state of old money dining is thus a dynamic tableau reflective of a broader societal dialogue about heritage and progress. These influential figures' diverse backgrounds and approaches are crucial in shaping how these traditions are perceived and practiced. They ensure the survival of these customs and contribute to their ongoing relevance, adapting them creatively to resonate with today's global audience. As we navigate this culinary odyssey, it's clear that the art of old money dining transcends mere sustenance, it is a cultural tapestry, richly woven with threads of history, tradition and nuanced etiquette. Each element we've explored, from the grandeur of the settings to the subtleties of table manners, paints a vivid picture of a dining culture that is both a relic of the past and a living, breathing part of the present. As our esteemed viewer of old money lovers, you're now part of this storied tradition, an observer of a world where every meal is a celebration every gesture a piece of heritage. What are your thoughts on this unique and exquisite form of dining? Do you see its influence in modern culinary practices, or do you believe it's a tradition best left in the past? Share your views in the comments below, engage with this rich history, and tell us how it resonates with you.